setting my captives free. When I was young, Christmas was all about getting gifts. Then when I got older, it was about giving gifts. Now that I am even older, I am back to receiving, but not stuff. This time, I want the gifts that God gives. I thought about what to ask for. But maybe it would be wiser to ask God. What did God want to give me? Imagine my surprise when I realized God wanted to clean up my heart to make more room for Him. That sounded good, but how to do it? Then I heard, We have to set your captives free. Captives? A captive is someone you have judged, judged and found wanting. And your heart is clogged with captives. I started to protest. I don't have any captives. Then I remembered William the Conqueror. When I was only nine, I was very upset over a dramatization of how he had conquered England. I had never forgiven him. Then there was Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, and oh my, there was a whole history book of captives inside me. But hey, they're all dead. Surely it doesn't matter. It matters. They were dead, but they were taking up room in my heart. But how was I going to set them free? If judging was what had imprisoned them, then it must take forgiving to release them. But how could I forgive them? Then God stepped in to help me. God made it clear that I did not know their pains and sorrows, their traumas and wounds. If I had been given their lives to live, I might have done worse, maybe much worse. That was a scary thought. Then I seemed to hear, If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If your enemy is thirsty, give him to drink. Romans 12.20 Next I heard, Begin with William the Conqueror. Immediately I saw a prison door. And in my hand was a heavy iron key. I unlocked the door. William looked at me. He was dirty and he smelled. I had not been a good jailer. I brought him hot water, bandages, fresh clothes, and prepared a meal. It took a while. Then I walked with William up the twisting passageways, up into the sunlight, where he slowly disappeared. As I watched, I smiled. I could tell I hadn't just freed William the Conqueror. I had also freed a part of me. To be continued. More at MindShifts.com